Hi guys, so obviously I'm back in my little corner because a lot of you guys really enjoyed um, this space and to be honest with you guys I really I really like it as well and I think that I'm going to start to film quite a few videos here because it just feels a little bit different. It feels like I'm standing up, I'm in an outfit, like I feel... I don't know, it just feels a bit a bit different and I actually really enjoyed that video and I really like it. So I'm going to continue to do a few videos in this space, so I hope you guys don't mind. So today I'm going to be doing a review of the new fragrance from Parfum de Mali. It is called Sedley. And to be honest with you guys, this is my third time filming this video. This is my third time. The first time I felt as though I wanted to spend more time with the fragrance. The second time I just didn't like the video and the third time is now. So the good thing about this is that I have now had three weeks with the fragrance Parfum de Mali Sedley so I can tell you guys a lot more about it. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and read the notes of this fragrance. Uh, the top notes are bergamot, mandarin, grapefruit, lemon and spearmint. The heart notes are geranium, lavender, rosemary, and incense. And the base notes are sandalwood, cedarwood, vetiver, patchouli, cashmere, and ambroxan. And the perfumer behind this is Olivier Cresp, which he is an incredible master perfumer. If you didn't know this, he did Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, one of the best-selling women's perfumes ever. He also did Angel. He did Versace Eau Fresh. He did Versace uh, Eros Pour Femme for women. He's done so many incredible fragrances. So that is one thing that I can tell you guys 100% about Parfum de Mali is that they invest in fantastic perfumers. I really, really love this fragrance. In the opening, I definitely get a little bit of a grapefruit note. There's a little bit of a bitterness, like a bitter fruitiness, bitter citrus kind of thing going on in the opening. I do get a little bit of lemon or bergamot and a bit of spearmint for sure. In the heart, you definitely get, for me, I get a little bit of rosemary or lavender. Could be one of those kind of herbaceous qualities. I definitely feel a little bit of a herbaceousness in the center. And then the base notes, um, I probably get a bit of cedar. And it just kind of overall goes down to a pretty woody scent. I am absolutely loving Sedley. <laughs> I hate to say it because you guys know how much of a fan I am of the house. But to me, I would say that this is the freshest fragrance from this house. And this is by far my favorite fresh fragrance from this house. I've also tried their other fresh offerings which is Percival and Galloway and I can tell you right now I think I like Sedley better than both of those two fragrances right now. Like I am obsessed with this fragrance and a little you know a little uh, behind the scenes I know that the creative di director Yvonne this is his favorite fragrance right now. He is obsessed with it and he told me that this is like he can't stop wearing Sedley and he absolutely loves it and I, I can see why. To me, it is an aromatic, fresh, citrusy, woody scent. An aromatic, woody citrus. That's what it is to me and it probably dries down into a more aromatic, spicy, woody scent. You definitely get the woodiness in the dry down and you do still get that kind of aromatic, um, kind of spicy, aromatic vibe in the dry down as as well so I am absolutely in love with this fragrance I think it is done to perfection I haven't loved a fresh fragrance like this in such a long time because I think fresh fragrances can all blend into each other I feel like we all use the same notes or perfumers all use kind of the same notes like bergamot neroli this is very different this is very unique and it is absolutely stunning and I'll tell you guys my sister I'm gonna make sure that she comments this down below so you guys believe me Shelby is obsessed with Sedley so am I we're both like absolutely in love with it um, I will say uh, if I think it's unisex masculine feminine I would say it's a unisex offering from the house but it does lean a little bit more to the masculine side so I feel like a lot of girls may not feel comfortable wearing this one just because it does definitely smell a little bit more masculine but Shelby loves it and I love it so keep that in mind as well girls if you're watching this so <sighs> love this fragrance I love this fragrance so much and as far as like wear time goes it's going to be different on absolutely everyone so never really trust a reviewer when they say wear time because um, everybody's different. Everybody has different skin chemistry. On my skin, I get five to six hours of fantastic wear of Sedley and I absolutely love it. If you guys have any questions down below for me, please leave them down below. Do I think it's worth buying? I definitely think it is. I definitely think if you're coming into summer, spring, you're in the hot weather, 
it is so worth checking out 100%. I think it would kind of get lost in the colder weather, in the cool weather, I think it would probably get a bit lost, but in the warm weather, it is fantastic. It does remind me of a little bit of like a barbershop fragrance, but fresher. Thank you guys so much for watching my review of Parfum de Mali Sedley. Like I said, you guys are pretty used to seeing the Parfum de Mali fragrances on my channel, but that is because I genuinely love the house and they do invest in fantastic perfumers. Um, this one being Olivier Cresp. So fantastic fragrance, fantastic perfumer. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you soon. Bye.